the slip cases that are coming with these recent Jackie Chan releases are absolutely works of art. I think they are amazing and once you've seen the movie, which most of these things are first time watches for me, it really encapsulates all the amazing parts of this film. Now Dragons Forever, again was a movie I'd never seen but of course I love these three main actors, Yoon Biao, uh, Jackie Chan, Sammo Hung, they're all terrific. This one's directed uh, by Sammo Hung and it's basically, I mean the story's inconsequential really, but it's about a lawyer who gets involved with an industrialization uh, come drug dealing mafia ran thing and <laughs> he tries to initially get this woman out of her business unbeknownst he's working for this uh, drug kingpin and he in, in gets his two friends to come and help him to accept bugs monitor and we get this character who at the start isn't clean cut as you think you know he's doing these things to try and oust a woman from her business so that big business can take over. It's not the, 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 the most clean cut character I've ever seen Jackie Chan play. And then we get Sammo Hung, who is a kind of mysterious guy who is up for doing dirty dealings as well. He moves in next to this woman, but is initially, well, immediately attracted to her. And then we get Yoon Bao's character, who is a standout in the movie, someone who understands that he has some complex issues and is trying to get help for them all the way through it. He is struggling with the things he's asked to do with the things he does and he just can't quite justify them to himself. And the movie kind of plays out as you would expect. It doesn't have any particular surprises or that but it doesn't need it because with these three guys in the main roles, what you get is lots of scenes of them together doing almost Three Stooges like setups that are absolutely marvelous and wondrous just to see them do it. The way they kind of uh, work by missing each other, slapping each other, hitting each other, fighting in amongst each other, having these pratfalls is just hilarious. And it's just wondrous to watch these three guys do these kind of things together. And there's plenty of setups that I just thought were wonderful. For me, I, I particularly like the moment where all three of them are in the house. Uh, Jackie Chan has got a date. He's trying to play these guys off against each other. Well, he keeps jumping back to his date and then getting back to it. And uh, eventually has to get rid of the date. And then they just end up in a mass kind of fight, but not overly trying to hurt each other but still hurting each other enough and it's just riotously funny, incredibly well set up and it's just wondrous to check out. And the movie has plenty of scenes like this where it kicks into the action and it's just jaw dropping. I loved the finale which is where everything is just ramping up towards and they really do just pull out all the punches in that final scene. I think it is amazing. You get uh, so many different action set pieces going on. You get some silly moments as well as you would expect, but it all fits into this athleticism, uh, the way that they can manipulate their body, the control they have doing these incredibly st dangerous stunts for our entertainment. And it works completely. When you're watching a Jackie Chan movie, especially one that's really well done like Dragons Forever, it's not always about the story. The story is, is secondary to the physical feats that these people are doing on screen. The, the charisma between the three characters is more than apparent here and you can see them just having a whale of a time, doing incredible stuff, having utmost trust in each other and just doing marvellous entertainment that is both funny physically unbelievable and highly entertaining all at the same time. I love the bad guys in Dragons Forever, especially the big boss man who was controlling everything. I never at any point thought he was going to get into the actual fighting action and when he does at the end, I was applauding. Well, he's still smoking his big cigars, well, fighting as well was just incredibly funny, incredibly entertaining, which basically encapsulates this movie. But take it away from just the action, there is some incredibly weird and funny scenes within this movie as well. I think possibly my favourite is we have Jackie as a lawyer who sidetrack a whole, a whole case so that he can get the woman that he's been romancing up, <laughs> up and then start to question her about whether she loves him or not while she's under oath. It is bonkers, but yet somehow 
really kind of fitting and the kind of cathartic moment <laughs> that the movie needed and the character needed as well. And the movie has these kind of strange comedic interludes like that that just make it strange and fun. You're not really too sure what the next scene is going to allude to. Dragons Forever is a wonderful uh, print from 88 Films and this one has uh, crazy extras as well. It's got a few different variations of the movie as well. It's got um, the Cyclone Z cut of the film which is 98 minutes produced for the Japanese market. Uh, it's got a brand new 4K uh, export version of the film commissioned by Golden Harvest for international audiences. It's got just the regular version as well. The 4K restoration is amazing and there is countless other extras on this as well which I haven't even had a chance to delve into as yet. I just know that the movie was great. Everything about it is fantastic. If you're a Jackie Chan fan, it's a must. If you're looking to get into his kind of movies, I'd say it's a great gateway as well. Kind of encapsulates most of what that guy can do. I'd love to know your thoughts on Dragons Forever. Let me know in the comment box below. And I'll see you next time on Man V Film.